welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that many developers encounter, the use of the no accept specifier for getters and setters. Our viewer poses an intriguing question about its application in a specific code example. Welcome back to another technical video. We're gonna go through the question, the answer, and I hope that you get the solution. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and work your way through to getting to that end resolution. Let's get started. Let's begin by understanding the no accept specifier. In C++, no accept indicates that a function is not expected to throw exceptions. In the provided class A, we see that the set integer and get integer methods are marked as no accept. This is appropriate because they operate on an integer, which is a fundamental type that does not throw exceptions. Now, when it comes to non-integral types like strings or user-defined classes, the decision to use no accept depends on whether those types can throw exceptions during their operations. If you are certain that the constructors and assignment operators of your non-integral types do not throw exceptions, you can safely mark your getters and setters as no accept. In summary, use no accept for getters and setters when you can guarantee that no exceptions will be thrown. This enhances performance and provides stronger exception safety guarantees. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When using no accept specifiers for getters and setters, be cautious. Avoid using them for functions that might throw, as this could lead to calling stead terminate. Instead of relying on deprecated throw specifiers, use the no accept operator. Here's an example of how to implement it in a class. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The no accept specifier isn't very useful outside of special member functions. However, if you want to use it in a setter, you can do so by checking if the type is nothrow copy assignable. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Let's look at how to use the noaccept specifier for getters and setters. For a getter, you can define it like this. It returns a constant reference to a string member and is marked as noaccept. For a setter, you can use a method that takes an rValue reference and swaps it with the string member also marked as no accept. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.